Cross sections. A cross section is a two-dimensional shape that is formed when you cut a three-dimensional figure. Cross sections are not only important in the mathematical world, but also in real-life applications. Cross sections are used in geography to analyze Earth and its core. Cross sections are also used to evaluate the age of trees and how the environment affected the tree's growth over a certain period of time. Chefs also use cross sections to present their food in an appetizing manner. As you can see, cross sections are used throughout the world around you. Before you can understand cross sections, you must be able to decipher between two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional figures. Two-dimensional shapes, also referred to as 2D, are flat figures. They have only two dimensions as seen in the shapes pictured. These shapes have only two dimensions. Three-dimensional figures, or 3D figures, are figures that have three dimensions. 3D figures have height, width, and depth, as seen in the shapes pictured. These shapes have three dimensions. Some common three-dimensional figures are pyramids, prisms, cylinders, cones, and spheres. There are a number of relationships between two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional figures. One relationship is the rotation of a 2D shape. Rotating a two-dimensional shape around an axis will create a three-dimensional figure. For instance, if you are given a square and you rotate the square about the y-axis or vertical axis, you will create a cylinder. Another relationship between two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional figures is cross-sections. As stated before, a cut made to a three-dimensional object will produce a two-dimensional figure known as a cross-section. With each different three-dimensional figure, a different cross-section will be formed, depending on the cut. When identifying cross-sections of three-dimensional figures, it is important to understand the cut of the figure and envision the two-dimensional figures that would be formed. Now look at a few examples of determining cross-sections of three-dimensional figures. If you are given a can of soda, which is a cylinder, and you were to cut this can parallel to the base, what two-dimensional shape would you form? The cross-section would form a circle. What if you took the same can of soda and cut it vertically? What two-dimensional shape would you form? With a vertical cut, a rectangle would be formed. As stated before, different cuts on a three-dimensional figure will form different two-dimensional shapes. Look at another example of cross-sections. You are given the three-dimensional figure of a tent. What two-dimensional shape would form if the tent was cut vertically? With a vertical cut, the cross-section would be a triangle. What two-dimensional shape would be formed if you cut the tent horizontally or parallel to the base? With a horizontal cut, a rectangle would be formed. Again, with the different cuts of the three-dimensional figure, you will form different two-dimensional shapes. Cross-sections are used extensively in real-life applications from geographical studies to MRIs. This geometry concept is seen throughout the world around you. Look around and see where you can see cross-sections in your daily life.